I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Love sign I got my heart. stuff back. Just a week ago, Claire Sorrenti was celebrating her return home and finally got her online streaming equipment back. And I'm so happy. Sorrenti had been recently doxxed. Someone sent a fake email with death threats using her name to London city councillors. The hoax email resulted in tactical police units arresting her at gunpoint at her home. Then it happened for a second time. This time, someone sent multiple pizzas from five different companies to her hotel room where she had relocated for safety reasons. London police say they're aware of the incident. We're concerned. It's harassment. The whole occurrence was troubling from the outset, I think, until we slowed everything down and understood what are we dealing with. Global News obtained the email used in the initial doxing. It gave out Sorrenti's real address and had threats of violence. But there were red flags visible in the email, according to one expert. Sorrenti's name was misspelled, and the email refers to her dead name, something a transgender person would not do. You have to investigate these documents closely and you have to look for those types of things so this exact situation doesn't transpire. Outside the email, there are other concerns. Toronto Police Services got a similar email but called Sorrenti. The trans woman alleges she also told London police in March she might get swatted. All those factors and her popularity included, Ali thinks police should have never shown up at her door. And in this particular case, it may have not taken much to, to make a phone call uh, to Ms. Sorrenti to see is this your email? What's going on? What type of mental situation are you in? And that, that may have led to the discovery that this was just all false to begin with. London police maintain they had the correct response. In this case, with that threat, that is the appropriate response. London police say they plan to track down the people harassing and doxing the transgender activist. We're with Claire Sorrenti. We're here to support her. Amar Khan, Global News.